welcome back to my channel and today I am here to react to episode 7 of Pray So. But this is actually a little different because I actually signed up for a membership. So this is the first time I'm reacting to the R18 version of Pray So. I don't know what I'm in for. <laughs> so uh, yes, this video is set for R18 and you probably already saw that little message when it pops up but anyway so i decided i wanted to jump in and just full-fledged pray so so here we go in three two one go oh, i don't know what to expect with this oh i'm nervous y'all are probably gonna see me like geek out not geek out you're gonna see me um what's the word for it Kasi, malaki ang atraso niya sa akin. Kaya, pag nagkita kami, malitraso sa akin. He meant business. Kasi, yung pre na nasa imagination ah! mo, hindi siya nag-exist. These two are my hope for the future. Kami. Just saying. <laughs> Bago pa kita makilala. Oh, these two. Kasi silpihan ko siya. I can't believe she went to his house. To Kevin's house. I can oh, or his apartment. I can't believe she went there. Oh, this part. Yep. Oh. Same father, different mothers. I don't know. But I'm not going to be able to get a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little he was such a jerk. I would to I, I, JC, I love you, but I really want to slap you. Alam ko na sa grinder ka. Ay, babe. Pani kanino mo ginagawa to? Sila ba napapatira ka dito nung walang bayan? And then you turn to Kevin for help. I was shocked when he showed up there. And then when he showed up there. See, this is all confusing. Bye. Why is Chris Cruz at Seb's house? I feel so bad. Like, at first I was slapping, then I want to hug you. Oh, here we go. I feel really bad. Like, he looks a wreck. I mean, who wouldn't after all that crap? Uh, I don't know how to feel about them. I don't know. His head is this the real one? Yes, it's the real one. I try to turn the I mean. Much, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, they're facing each other. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. He looks 
looks so he he he, he looks so broken. Like he's I feel like he's done. He's like over it. He's done. Are you tired of being a fuck boy now? Are you tired? Oh, that is. Why am I crying? You're a sick person, I know why. Okay. Sige. Papahirin mo na natin ang damit ko. Bakit ka bite mo sa akin? Kahit na... Sa'n so... He's a glut for punishment. Me too. Pwede bang sagutin kaya na hindi mo ko i-judge? Architect ako. Huh? Hindi ako judge. Narinig ko na yan. Kanin? Sa culture mo. Kaya Yes. So, totoo palang architect ka? Oo. ang course ko. Pero hindi ko siya natapos. Mm. Kaya drops man lang ako sa architecture firm. Right. At nung magka-pandemic, magsarado yung kumpanya namin. Kaya hanggang ngayon, jobless pa rin ako. Eh, ikaw. Ano ang trabaho mo? That's what I'll prefer ako. Oh, you should come in. Yeah, I remember that. Thing. He likes to take pictures of animals. May ganun ba lang? Ang mga kala ko pare-pareho lang lahat ng photography. Yeah, maraming klase ng photographer. May wedding photographer, may fashion photographer. Teka. Ang alala ko ito conversation nito. Aha. Uh-huh. Sa inyo na poser ko? With the poser. Oo. Oh. Hindi pa sinasagot yung tanong mo. Mm-hmm. Kung bakit mag-aan yung logo sa'yo? Exactly. Why are you so nice? Because you're left for punishment. Tuwing nakikita kita, bumabalik sa akin yung film sa mga pre. Mm. Yung pre, yung sa imagination ko. Yung pre na tinawag kung significant bagay niya. Yung pre na nagtuko sa akin kung paano may love. Yung pre, yung hihinap ako. Hmm. Basta, bawal kami lang sa akin ha. Oo naman. Dahil hindi naman ikaw yung pre na sa imagination. Right. Teka, kung hindi ka uwi sa kong, sa kawoy, Ano ba ng kabayo? Ano sabihin mo? Ang sabi mo kasi, nagsupit ka ng pet portraits. Pwede mo pong gawin ng portraits mo mga kabayo. Why horses? Oo naman. Mayinitin na ako sa kabayo. Ikaw sa schedule mo yun. Isang mga kabayo. Pwede mo ba ako sa mga kabayo? 
Oh. Sige. Type mo Well. I thought the episode was about to end right there. I about lost it. <laughs> for a drive. All right. Photographer, bo. Ah, pet photographer. Subject mo eh, mga hayop. Ah, yes. Pwede mo bang una na litrato ang mga kabayo ko? Gusto ko kasing i-market itong farm resort ko. Bilang horse farm. Sige po. Pati yung ibang areas ng resort niyo kung naman na rin. Ang ganda dito, no, nakaka-inspire. Kaso, parang hindi na pupunta ng mga tao. Mahirap kasing puntahan. Kung talagang gusto mong makita ang isang lugar o ang isang tao, kahit gaano pa kalayo, dadayuin ito. That part. Exactly. I wish... Ooh, I'm not... I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna behave. I'm gonna behave myself. Let's see how this goes. What are you doing? What are you doing? What Pag-ingat no, kayo ng pananghali, nagpahanda ako ng pagkain para sa inyo. Berto, ang sikasuhin mo ko kayo. Oo? Oh? Berto? 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 Huh? Why do you call him Berto? Okay. We're gonna find out about that, I guess. That place is just beautiful. Look at that water. Like that water is just stunning. Oh. I'm excited. Okay. I'm all jumpy. Sorry. <laughs> Just below those eyes that tell me you're okay It's written on your face As you come to light, I come alive 
your silhouette in the summer sky. But this is only a matter. You can only get better. You can only oh, get better. All the horses just running free. And this That's so is pretty. only a matter. You can only get better. I want to go there. Better. That looks so peaceful. sa pagiging pet photographer. Bata pa lang kasi ako. Mahilig na ako sa pets. Tapos nung college ako, naging hobby ko naman yung photography. Sabi nila, do what you love doing, you will never work a single day in your life. That part. Meaning, kapag ina-enjoy mo yung trabaho mo, parang laro na lang. He's got a point. Oh, maglaro ako sa nung bata ko. Tara. Ano namang naging course mo ng college? Psychology. Mm. Ang layo ah. Oo. Oh, yun yung kinuha ko bilang pre-med course. So kasi ako mo yung doktor ng parents ko. Ah. Wow. Sa so, parehas pala tayong pinilit sa course ang hindi natin gusto. Mahirap ng psychology. Mahirap intindihin ng mga tao. True. Mas madali pa intindihin yung mga hayop. Pero ikaw, medyo gets kita. That part. Dahil ba asal hayo pa ko? Ha? Ah. Hindi. Dahil may pinanggagalingan yung mga angst mo sa buhay. Yung gusto kong tuklasin. Hmm. Huwag mo nang tuklasin. Don't even... Dahil mo na akong panditirian. Bakit oh, naman? come on. Can't be that bad. Hindi mo kitang intindihin. Sarili ko nga, hindi ko maintindihan. Papaintindi ko pa sa iba. Okay. Kaya gusto ko itang tulungan, tindihin yung sarili mo. Basta mag-open up ka lang. Pwede ba tumigil ka na? Ba't ka ba nagagalit? Mausisa ka kasi. Ang ayaw ko sa lahat, ibinubulat natin yung buhay ko. Kung ayaw ko kusapan yung buhay mo, eh di wag. Bahala ka na sa buhay mo. Talagang ako bahala sa buhay ko. Ako lang. Way of Walang ibangit pa kayo sa buhay ko. Go with him a good day. Now y'all fight. Oh, Jesus, Mary. I That's right, just walk off. Walk off, pray. Go on. Ridiculous. Just walk away from someone who actually gives a damn. Oh, 
Oh no, you're gotta be kidding me! When it does that, I hate when it does that. It just stops out of nowhere. Ugh. Well, this whole episode was basically about pray, and so, and how so was trying to help pray, the real pray, not the fake pray, and. Like, Prey is just not willing to open up to him yet. And I get it. Because it's, like, it, they're fairly new to each other. Because of his brother. Like, they're connected somehow. And, like, also wants to do is help him. Because in some way, even though that he fell in love with his brother who was posing as him, he still feels something for the real Prey. And I get it. Um, but Prey is just like... its He's like an onion. <laughs> I hate to make this analogy. Whoever watches Shrek, I hate to make this analogy. But like... Prey's character is like an onion. You gotta peel him back a layer at a time. And his onion is fairly big. Okay? Nobody make a sexual joke in my comments. I'll, I, mm -mm. Anyway... But his onion is fairly big, so it's going to take you a while to peel back each layer and get him to open up the way you want him to. Because you can't just do like a blooming onion and cut him up and then pfft, him open, okay? You got to take your time. I know I'm going off in a weird analogy, but I feel with time, Prey's going to open up. And he's going to give so that chance to get to know him, the real him, and not the po not the so not that not the person he's trying to make himself to be and he's tired of the life he's living i could tell in his face when he showed up to so's apartment just he said he felt dirty and i get it it's, it's, he's been doing this for so long that he's finally tired of it and i think that so is that person that's going to get him out of that and make him want to be a better person um, where Seth and Chris Cruz come in, I don't know because we didn't get to see that this episode. But I hope next episode that it, it's a little bit better where they reconcile and and fix it because you know it's 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 it's. I don't know how many episodes this season is. I don't know if it's eight because this is episode seven, so I don't know if this is the this must be the penultimate. And next episode is the finale. So if the, if next episode is the finale, well, we're screwed. But if not, we still got a little bit to go. So, um, yeah, that's it for me. Stay sharp, stay safe, wear your mask, and uh, that's it. Bye. Bye. Love you guys. Merry Christmas.